It's a massive challenge. In a world where eight people, or to be more precise, eight men own as much as 50% of the rest of the world's population, that's three and a half billion people, clearly we have a problem with inequality. But SDG 10, the Sustainable Development Goal 10, is not only about inequality in wealth, it's also about inequality uh, between gender. Uh, it's also to tackle inequality based on race, uh, sexual orientation, it's about trying to address an issue that is dividing societies, all societies, and it is something to do with basic fairness, and that's the focus of the goal for every one of us. Well, my first point would be that any business that believes it's not directly affected by inequality doesn't have to go back 100 or 200 years and study revolutions. It can just go back a few years. Wall Street versus Main Street, um, the kinds of political uh, manifestations of frustration, of extremism, the um, appearance of also political movements that are challenging issues such as uh, globalization and a global economy that cooperates. All this is of high risk to business and whether it's uh, social disruption, whether it's economic disruption, all this raises the risks for business, for investors and ultimately affects our ability to develop our economies and that's bad for business and therefore any business that would assume that inequality is good I think we'll very quickly find that history teaches us the opposite. We need a true north for sustainable business, one that provides economic development, prosperity and positive growth that we want, but that does it in a way that is socially just and environmentally sustainable. Watch how global organizations are embedding the principles of sustainability into the heart of their businesses on www.reuters.com forward slash 17 hyphen goals and follow the hashtag SDG films.